Hey everyone and welcome back to Coffee with My Sunshine and if you're new here, thanks so much for stopping by. I would love to have you join my YouTube family. So if you like what you see, please consider subscribing and clicking that notification bell so you get notified of every new video that I put out there. So today's video is going to be super fun because I was contacted by Heidi from Happily Thriving Heidi to join her in this DIY Christmas ornament collab. And every Monday she's going to be doing this where she invites a new friend to join her to make Christmas ornaments. So if you'd like to see what I made, please keep watching and don't forget to head on over to Heidi's channel after you're done watching my video to see what she has made. Also, don't forget to check out her entire channel because she does some really, really fun content. She does anything from DIYs, trash to treasure, shop with me. She does a really fun series called Room of the Month. So like I said, head on over to her channel, show her some love, tell her I sent you, and let's get into my project. So to start, we are going to be using just an old bulb that I had um, in my Christmas stash and this fabric that I got from Walmart. And it comes, um, I forget what they're called, fat quarter or something, um, but they're only $1.47 and right now Walmart has some gorgeous Christmas fabrics out right now. And for this ornament, I'm just going to be cutting strips of this fabric to wrap around this bulb. And first, I'm going to um, hot glue the end right at the opening of the bulb, and then I'm going to um, put Mod Podge all the way around the ornament. And I know you don't have to do that um, hot glue, but, but I don't have a very good relationship with Mod Podge. We just don't get along, and I can never seem to work it right, so I'm using the hot glue as a little bit of a helping hand. So basically you're just going to take these strips and completely cover the whole bulb. How you do it is up to you, whether you do it from one side to the other or um, like I'm doing like crisscrossing, it's up to you. You just want it covered. So we're going to let that dry and after it is completely dry, we're going to use a little bit more hot glue and some twine. I just thought this would give it like a really um, country rustic look. So I'm going to wrap it around the top part of the bulb. kind of wanted to do like lines of the twine around the bulb. So I just hot glued that down. And do the hot glue with a light hand, which I did not. That way you don't see the hot glue, um, you know, kind of like puking out from the twine. So moving on to our next one, I'm going to be using these wood rounds that I got from Arteza and also a, an old cookie cutter and some wrapping paper from Walmart. Oh, and this is just a quick ornament I thought I would show you using an old cookie cutter and some twine and I just wrapped it around the little handle because I think that would look super cute on a um, little like kitchen Christmas tree which I think I'm going to be doing is like a themed Christmas tree in my kitchen. I just got to get more of these um, cookie cutters. So anyway onto the wood round I'm just going to be painting it white and I'll link them in the description box if you want to see um, if you want to check these out from Arteza. So then I am taking the cookie cutter and laying it on top of the wrapping paper and just tracing it. And then I'm going to cut it out. And then after you've cut it out, you're just going to Mod Podge it onto the wood round and make sure the paint is already dry. Okay. 
Okay, so here I'm just um, hot gluing the knot that I put in the twine to the back so that it doesn't, you know, go up to the front and look ugly or go up to the top and look ugly. And then I'm going to take just a wood bead and I decided to add a couple of other colors. And then I did a little bit of hot glue on the top bead, like into the hole to hold them in place. So then you're going to, on just a plain piece of paper, kind of sketch out a body of a deer. Just the body because the legs and everything are going to be from wood. Then after that, you're going to cut that sketch out of um, a pretty Christmas fabric. And this is another fabric that I got from Walmart. You're going to need to cut out two because you're going to want to put them um, like good side together, face to face basically. Um, so the wrong side is facing out on both sides because we are going to hot glue them together. And you're just going to go in a very, very thin strip of hot glue, or you can stitch them um, or sew them by hand, whatever. I'm not the best at sewing, as you all know. <laughs> so I'm going to be using hot glue and you're just going to basically go around the outline of the body. And here I left the head part open because um, you're going to have to turn it right side out um, but I would suggest because I wasn't super happy with um, leaving the head part open leave the back part open because that's going to be a lot easier for stuffing and for closing shut so then after you've done that you're going to turn it right side out And this is what it looks like so far. And you're just going to take some stuffing. You can use that. You can use probably toilet paper, paper towel. You could probably use like a grocery bag like we did with the um, homemade uh, sweater pumpkins. Anything to fill this up and give it some um, squish. <laughs> so you're just going to keep stuffing until you just can't stuff anymore. And then if you can, get your hot glue gun in there and seal up most of the head. If you did it this way, like I said, I would recommend doing it, leaving the back part open. And basically here's the shape of your deer. And this is the inspiration that I was kind of going from. They're from Kirkland's and they're just little plush deer ornaments. They don't have a ton of detail, that's why I liked them. And then I'm just taking some sticks from my yard that I broke into pieces. And then you kind of just shove them into a little bit of um, a hole, which you want to leave a hole at the top. I had forgotten, so I cut a hole. <laughs> and then I used a little bit of hot glue to hold the antlers in place. And then for the legs, um, I'm cutting a four holes kind of on the side of the fabric the side um, bottom part and that's where we're going to put the legs and I put a little bit of hot glue on to the um, top of the sticks before I shoved them in the hole that way they stay in place and then if you want you can seal up the hole even more with hot glue and this is what he looks like so far and then I'm taking a little bit of twine um, to make the bow like it showed in the picture. I just did three strands of it. And then for the tail, I'm just taking the top piece of a pine cone and gluing that on the back. And then taking a little bit of chalk paint and adding a tiny bit to his antlers, legs, and tail. <laughs> and I think he's kind of cute. You'll see... Um, you don't really need a hanger for him when you put him onto the tree because you can just set him on a branch. For this next one, you're going to need an old book, some twine, and a marker. And we're going to be making a garland for your Christmas tree. And for mine, I'm spelling out the words Merry Christmas. You could do anything. You could do joy, you know, whatever 
Christmas board you would like. And I think if I were to do this again, I would probably either use a stencil or just be a lot more careful with my letters because I would, I like it better with thinner letters. I saw a picture of this on Pinterest, so that's what I'm trying to recreate. So after you've got the outline of your letters, you just fill them in with, I'm using black marker, I guess you could use paint or whatever, whatever works best for you. And these markers are from Arteza. I can also list them in the description box. And then we're going to take that twine and the book pages. And um, I'm, I just folded over a tiny part on the top, just enough to hold the twine in place. and make sure the twine is tucked under that fold. And I used tape. I would use, um, if you use tape, I would use it um, all the way across the fold because I just did it in the center and it doesn't hold it in place like I wanted it to. It kind of lets the letters or the pages um, move a little bit more than I would have liked. So I've really been liking this rustic um, kind of country vintage look for Christmas, but I also like farmhouse. I also like the neutral colors and I'm not really sure, is it okay to mix all of them or room by room? Can they be different? Let me know what you guys think. Now for this next one, all you'll need is a couple pieces of cardboard and um, a cookie cutter doesn't have to be a Christmas tree, but that's what I'm using And I'm just going to trace the Christmas tree and cut it out And then I'm taking a little bit of Mod Podge and using and I'm putting on this doily This was one left over from the Dollar Tree. They sell them in a really big pack and I'm going to let that dry and then I traced another one of the Christmas trees but I actually wanted it a little bit smaller but I still wanted the outline of the big one so I knew how big I was going to draw it and this was the inspiration for these trees I'm not going to do it um, exactly or really even close <laughs> I just like the look of those so I'm just going to kind of do my own thing and then I added a little bit of chalk paint just to give it a little bit of a rustic look. And then I'm cutting off the doily and taking some sandpaper um, because it works really, really well to get a clean um, edge to get the doily off or paper, whatever you're using. And then I just hot glued the other Christmas tree on top. And because I didn't want it to look like cardboard, I'm going to be gluing these beads along the edge. And then I'm taking some more hot glue and this copper colored glitter and just hot gluing it along the edge of that cardboard so that it kind of masks the look of cardboard. And then you just poke a hole in the top and put a little hanger in there. I'm using twine and I think it's so cute. I think it actually looks like a cookie. And I love the little bit of glitter on there too. And here's the final look. Let me know what you guys think of these ornaments. This deer I think is probably my favorite, but let me know what your favorite is. And here's my little cookie cutter Christmas tree.
I think that one's pretty cute too because you could do all different sorts of cookie cutters on the wood rounds. I think they look so cute and I love the plaid ornament. And here's my Merry Christmas garland on the Christmas tree. And I think this will look so much better on our um, really large Christmas tree. I couldn't get to that yet. That was still packed away in our basement. But I just kind of wanted to give you the look of this. So I used our smaller Christmas tree. Thank you so much, Heidi, for inviting me to collab with you. I had a ton of fun making Christmas ornaments. Don't forget to head on over to her channel and check her out. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye!